that consuming 500 calories takes five minutes, but burning them off takes more than two hours. Welcome, new generation leaders, to this new lesson, the impact of a good health and health problems, part one. This is your teacher, Mrs. Ayala. This lesson will be divided in two parts. The first part is today, October 8th, and the second part of this interesting topic is on October 15th. Let's see the objective for this lesson. To reinforce the importance of good nutrition and healthy habits for improving life quality, and to design a nutritional plan for promoting good health in schools. Let's review some vocabulary words that you will be looking at during a video. So we have, first, glass of water. Glass of water. Look at the picture. Chew properly, chew properly. Meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, meal. Guacamole, guacamole. Use and carrot sticks. Use and carrot sticks. Protein, protein. Egg, meat, etc. Fruit and vegetables, fruit and vegetables. Energy, energy. So now that you have reviewed some words, you are familiar with this listening activity. That is a video sent by our friends, Sammy and Megan from Tulane University. Pay attention to this video. Hi guys. Um, I know last week we talked a little bit about exercise and just good healthy habits. And today we're gonna be talking a little bit more about how a good nutrition can help you in your day-to-day -day life. So Sammy's gonna be asking me some questions and I'll be answering them. Okay, hey, let's get started. So. How many meals a day are recommended? Typically, three meals a day are recommended, and it's really good if you can get in that many. That way you have the right amount of nutrition each day. Why is chewing food well so important? That's something that's really important that a lot of us don't think about all the time. So chewing is important because it makes digestion a lot easier. How many servings of vegetables are recommended? Yeah, so each day you should be getting about five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Personally, I like to have a little bit of juice in the morning for maybe one of my servings of fruit, and then I like to have carrot sticks and dip them in some guacamole to give me a little bit of extra later in the day. Oh, yummy. So, how much water are you supposed to drink every day? You're supposed to drink about eight cups of water every day, which is a lot, mm -hmm. but um, staying hydrated is really good. It gives you more energy. So why should you avoid fat food? Mm -hmm. So avoiding fatty food is good, but it's also super important to make sure that you are having lean protein. So having fat in moderation is okay, but it's better to eat more proteins and fruits and vegetables because it gives you more energy and it's just overall better for you. Well, thanks for having us, Teacher Grace. We look forward to being in later videos. Bye y'all. Thank you, Sammy and Megan. Of course, we will be waiting for those interesting videos. Thank you so much. So now let's have a quiz. Let's see if you paid attention to Megan and Sammy. Are you ready? I will ask some questions. How many meals a day are recommended? Three, four, or seven, according to what they said. Three? Yes, that's correct. Typically, Three meals a day are recommended, and it is really good if you can get in that many. That way you have the right amount of nutrition each day. Why is chewing food well so important? To enjoy the meal, to make digestion a lot easier, or to protect our teeth. The second option, let's see to make digestion a lot easier? Yes, that's correct. Chewing is important because it makes digestion a lot easier. 
correct. How many servings of vegetables are recommended? Five servings, ten servings, or eight servings? But did they mention? Five servings, okay. Yeah, each day you should be getting about five servings of fruit and vegetables. Good, great job, guys. How much water are you supposed to drink every day? Five glasses, six glasses, or eight glasses? The last option, eight glasses. Perfect. You're supposed to drink about eight cup of water every day, which is a lot, but staying hydrated is really good and it gives you more energy. Why should you avoid fat food? Well, they said that it is not unhealthy, but we have to moderate the consumption of fatty food so eating too much can therefore lead to many diseases or the second option trans fat is consumption has been associated with health mm. trans fat shouldn't be avoided mm. so the first the first right Yes, because avoiding fatty food is good, but it's also super important to make sure that you are having lean protein. So having fat in moderation is okay, but it is better to eat more proteins and fruits, vegetables, because it gives you more energy. And it is just overall better for you. Excellent, guys. Let's see. Well done. Very good. You have all the answers correct. Good job, guys. So now, now we are going to review some other words for a reading activity. Okay? So the first word is obesity. Do you know what is obesity? It is a condition of being very overweight. The second is high blood pressure. High blood pressure is the force of your blood pushing against the walls of your blood vessels. We have number three, high cholesterol. High cholesterol is a weighty substance that you have in your blood. We can develop fatty deposits in our vessels and eventually these deposits make it impossible to the blood flows into the arteries. We have heart disease and stroke. What is this? These are both cardiovascular diseases. So we have here type two diabetes. This is a, like when we have high glucose level in the blood. So it does not uh, develop the, the metabolism of the sugar and it make difficult to work the insulin, you know? Osteoporosis is a bone disease that occurs when the body loses like part of the, the bone this look at this cancer it happened with a cell is not normal growing and it spreads very fast we have depression that is when you feel sad when you feel with bad mood that lasts for a week or longer so Maybe when you have other changes in your behavior, we can say that you are in depression. So eating disorders, 
that is a problem with the way people eat, you know? So some examples of these eating disorders are anorexia, bulimia, etc. We have nutrients. Nutrients uh, is a substance that is needed for healthy growth, development, and functioning. For example, fruit and vegetables, they have important nutrients. We have sugar, sugar. A, this is a, a component that it, we can use to sweet a, our beverage, for example. We have vitamins. This is the one that provides the body with energy. Carbohydrates is for the brain and the nervous system. They are like a, the preferred fuel source. And the last one is fast. Fat is like a fuel source too. So we, we can get energy from the fats. So now, that we have practiced a little bit these words. Let's pay attention to this reading. I will ask you some questions, pay attention. Reading activity, trans fats. Does your mouth water when you think of donuts, burgers, and french fries. Many people prefer young food like this to healthy food because they develop a taste for it. Processed Baked and fried foods often contain a high amount of trans fats. Trans fats raise bad cholesterol and lower the good cholesterol that your body needs. Fatty foods do more than cause obesity. Trans fats build up in the body and block blood flow to the heart. People whose diet contains a high percentage of trans fats are at risk of developing heart disease or having a stroke. Food companies and restaurants choose to use trans fats oil because they are cheap and they make food like crackers and baked goods last longer. They also improve the taste and texture of food. Trans fats became very popular in the second half of the 20th century. This is around the time butter got a bad name for its cholesterol levels. People were told to use margarine containing trans fats instead because it was healthier. But we know now that butter is actually the healthier option. Reading the list of ingredients on the label is a good way of avoiding dangerous ingredients like trans fats. 
Another way is to avoid eating out, especially in fast food restaurants. The healthier your diet is now, the longer and healthier your life will be. Okay guys, let's see if you paid attention to the reading, okay? Let's start. Potato chips and chocolate bars are example of young food, B, fast food, or C, healthy food. Tell me, young food, A. Eh? Excellent. Number two, according to the article, too much fatty food causes A, mouth watering, B, trans fats, C, obesity. Option C, obesity. Good. Which of the following can have high levels of trans fats? A, saturated fats, B, fried food, C, fresh products. B, fried food. Let's see, good. Food companies and restaurants started using trans fats in order to save A, money, B, time, or C, life. What do you think? Money? Let's see. A. Good. The last question. What tip does the article give for avoiding trans fat? A. Eat out in restaurants. B. Check the ingredients. Or C, avoid tasty foods. What do you think? B, check the ingredients. And that's what we are going to do later. So, excellent, guys. Good. And as I mentioned, we are going to practice this interesting topic. We are going to analyze the uh, reading food label can help us to be more aware of what we are eating and it can help us to have healthy choices in our daily eating. In particular, pay attention to the amount of saturated fat. So trans fat, cholesterol. So the one that you see here, that will help us to have better healthy food choices. So this is called nutrition labels. Nutrition labels are this, this chart with a lot of information that is giving us information about what is in the food. You can find them by looking for the box that say nutrition facts. So here you can find calories, fat, vitamins, and ingredients. But what they all mean, uh, it shows the nutrients in food, which are things that our body needs to stay healthy. You will see the amount of these nutrients written in G for grams or G or milligrams, okay? So some people have figured out um, how uh, nutrients we should eat every day. So this is what we call the daily value of each nutrient. If you look at the labels and you see like daily value it shows that how much of that we need we can get by eating this food but it is important to know that this number is based on grown-ups but it is not the same for everyone 
So on the top of the label, you will see serving size. So it may say something like one cup, as you can see here, or 228 grams. Serving per container, in these cases are two. So if you eat more than the serving size, it means that you are eating more than the nutrients shown. So what are the basic nutrients on every nutrition label? So we are going to start with the calories, okay? Calories, it gives you energy. So it is important to know how much are in our food because eating too much it will make you gain weight and if you're on diet eating less calories will make you lose weight so the next is fat okay your body uses fat to grow and develop but eating too much fat is unhealthy you might see different kind of fats listed this nutrition fat such as saturated unsaturated trans fat these different kinds of fat will have different effect on your body the next one is cholesterol this nutrient is listed because many people need to be careful how much cholesterol they eat especially if they need to pay extra attention to their heart health. Next, we have sodium. This is a fancy word for salt, like cholesterol. Okay, this is important to know. So, because many people need to limit the amount of sodium for every day. Uh, maybe those that suffer uh, of hypertension. So we use carbohydrate to um, create, like, generate energy, no? We have sugar, and we, of course, we all want to limit uh, for example, those people that are dia uh, suffer diabetes, they need to pay super attention to the carbohydrate content, also the protein. Uh, our body used to build muscles and keep organs and in health, health condition through the proteins. And here we, we can see vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin A, calcium, and iron. These vitamins and minerals are very important for keeping your eyes, your immune system, your brain, your heart, your bones, uh, your muscles, to keep all those organs healthy. So we can see many different nutrients that are shown here in this nutrition label. So it's important for those people that suffer of allergy. So you have to pay extra attention to nutrition labels. So I encourage you to read these nutrition label facts and related to all about the ingredients of your favorite food so you can understand the best way to keep your body healthy and growing strong. So now let's talk a little bit about grammar. We are going to practice the use of much, many, little, few, a lot, and plenty. So we use much, okay, we use much and little with uncountable noun. For example, much luck, much time, little energy, little money. We use many and few with plural nouns. For example, 
many friends, many people, few cars, few children. We use a lot of, lot of, plenty of with both uncountable and plural nouns. Look at the example. A lot of luck, a lot of friends, a lot of time, a lot of people, plenty of money, plenty of idea. So plenty is more than enough. Look at the example. There is no need to hurry. We have got plenty of time. Or there is, there's, there is plenty to do in this town. Let's link to other examples. We have a little and a few. A little means some or small amount. Look, let's go and have coffee. We have a little time before the train leaves. A little time means some time, enough time to have a coffee. Or do you speak English? The answer, a little. It means that we can talk a bit. A few means some or small number. For example, I enjoy my life here. I have a few friends and we meet quite often. A few friends means not many, but enough to have a good time. Another example, when was, when was the last time you saw Claire? A few days ago. It means three or four days ago. Look at these other examples. We have a few or a little. If we compare a little, and little, few or a few. For example, he spoke little English, so it was difficult to communicate with him. Or he spoke a little English, so we were able to communicate with him. Do you see the difference? She's lucky. She has few problems. It means no many problems. Or things are not going so well for her. She has a few problems. It means some problems. We, saw, we say only a little, not only a little, and only a few. It means not only few. For example, hurry. We only have a little time. It means that you have some, but not much time. If, for example, another example, the village was so small, there were only a few houses. It means some, but not many houses. Now let's practice, guys. Look at this. We have to put much, many, little, a few. Or look at the first one. She isn't popular. She has few friends. Anna is very busy this day. She has little, yes, little free time. Did you take pictures at the wedding? Many, yes. This is a mother city. There are few old buildings. Five, the weather has been very dry recently. We had little rain. Little. Look at number C. I don't know London well. I haven't been there for many years. Many years. The two cars are similar. There are little difference between them. Eight, I'm not very busy today. I don't have much to do, yes. It is a wonderful place to live. There are few better places to be. Okay, good.
Let's see the next. Here, we are gonna put a little, little, few, or a few. One, Gary is very busy with his job. He has little time for other things. Look at number two. Listen carefully, I'm going to give you a little, yes, a little advice. Number three, do you mind if I ask you a few, yes, a few questions. Number four, it is not a very interesting place. So, Number five, I don't think Amy would be a good teacher. She has little patience. Mm. Number six, would you like me linear coffee? Yes. Mm -hmm. A little please, a little please. Number seven, this is a boring place to live. There's to do. There is little to do, little. Number eight. I know Hong Kong quite well. I've been there times. A few, yes, a few times. Number nine. There were only, mm -hmm, People at the meeting. A few, yes, a few. And the last one. Did you do all this work on your own? No, I had help from my friends. A little, a little help from my friends. Good, good job, guys. Now, guys, the assignment for today. Pay attention to these nutrition facts and check all the amount per serving, the total fat, protein, vitamins. So you have to answer these questions. So you can take a picture. You can take a picture of this and send the answer to your teacher. So check the ingredients, all related to this food, okay? So you have to know how to practice this. So start now. So guys, we cannot live without saying this quote. Oh, this is a saying from Mike Adams. Today, more than 95% of all diseases are caused by food choice toxic food ingredients nutrition nutritional deficiencies and lack of physical exercise mike adams let's repeat this together today more than 95 percent of all chronic diseases is caused by food choice toxic food ingredients nutritional deficiencies and lack of physical exercise look at the pyramid we have our lifestyle is important we need we need active aerobic active aerobic sport and recreation muscle fitness and exercises flexibility exercises too and the food the nutrition we need grains, vegetables, fruits, milk, meat, and beans to be healthy, guys, in order to have good nutrition. So, guys, our special thanks to the Magister, Daira Crainton, that is our academic coordinator from the National Directorate of Foreign Language Teaching. Also, to all these sponsors, 
that make this lesson possible for you guys, especially to Tulane University for the videos that they sent, sent us every week for every topic. So remember, remember guys, protect yourself against this virus that is affecting thousands of people. The, the virus is still there, so don't forget to be protected. Wear your face mask, keep your social distancing, also sanitize everything. Clean your hands frequently. Be safe guys against this virus. Protect yourself. Be safe, guys. Remember also to stay tuned. We have different channels of communication. So there is a YouTube channel that you can find different videos that are useful for you. Also, you can access into our blog, Panama EDU 2021, and you will find all these presentations that will be available for you, for your teacher from 7 to 12 grade. Remember also there is a team open for you, 10th grader, so you can access and get updated every week with the different activities that I presented here every week. So this is a quote that you can use to access. So guys, thank you for all your attention. Remember, stay tuned. And remember, next week is our second part of this interesting topic, the impact of good health and healthy problems, part two. So goodbye, guys. Take care of you and see you next week. Goodbye.